I was asked on a recent Reddit post about how to do um, custom headers in your R Markdown HTML output. I'm talking about like um, corporate or company branding and you want to have a logo or a banner. Um, I'm specifically just going to talk about a banner right now. I've done a custom logo in a book down document in the top left, you know, right in that little section. Um, but for a custom header image in your HTML output of R Markdown, I found a example in the R Markdown book by UA, which you just have this, um, your output, HTML doc, includes, and then you can have several options of where you include or basically shim in additional HTML code during compilation uh, in your header, before your body, and after your body, uh, your HTML body. And in this case, you just do in header, and then I just have a single image. I just have a really obnoxiously large image of the Arch logo. Um, I mean, here's the only HTML I'm putting in. It's just the image. Now you could use you know your own custom styling, a style sheet, or in or CSS code chunk in here, or you could have a referenced CSS file externally with the YAML CSS option that also affects this header image because it's all going to be in one HTML file. So whatever CSS you write will go for the entire you know kit and caboodle. So now when I knit this together, it will give me um, this type of uh, output. So now I have this obnoxiously large logo, but it appears before any of my content, including my title, which is typically the thing that's up at the top. So with that, you can actually use this and figure out the, you know, the spacing of everything and actually have your own custom banner and your own corporate logo or image. You could use CSS to set your own color theme. In Bookdown, uh, what they typically have done that I've seen is um, they'll have like these own little icon images and then do CSS for a specific tagged block or code block and use, a, use the, the default uh, block chunk instead of a specific code language. And then they, you know, it changes it to like some aesthetically pleasing uh, code view or note thing. I think it's all specifically for notes, not code. And you could do like warnings or tips or stop points. Um, it, it's it, actually, I think they actually do it in here, maybe in the R Markdown one, maybe not. Because I, I saw it before and I totally and shamelessly ripped off everything they had in there and used it in some of my technical documentation at work because I thought it was so um, clean looking. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's in here. Maybe it's in R for Data Science. Oh, that's the same section. Do, 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 do. But yeah. So with these custom icons and CSS styles, you can easily, just with um, the, your normal messing with R Markdown and some front end stuff, you can easily change the style of your documents to fit your own corporate design, color scheme, icon logos, etc. cetera. Um, this is before, this is without even having to get into the really complex stuff of like, like um, custom LaTeX templates or Pandoc templates or messing with Pandoc in, in the guts of all of this stuff. So still dealing with like front to middle level stuff, you could still get some sort of custom styling on whatever you're doing. So in header referenced an HTML file, it's has to be in your, in whatever file path or whatever your current directory is. And then that custom file can just have a single image or whatever styling inline or reference CSS in the YAML as an external file or a CSS fenced cough code section in the main RMD document. It's really just whatever works for you and have fun.